City leaders say they need to work with Mecklenburg County, CMS, and the rest of the community to stop the rise in violence. Now tonight, the City Council identified what it calls some hot spots. They say that these four areas of the city are the areas where people are put at greatest risk for things like deadly shootings. Now, our government reporter, Joe Bruno, was there inside for the council meeting tonight. And Joe, I know they laid out a plan to try to keep people safer. Well, Mayor Vile Isle says the solution can't just be policing. City leaders are now turning to data to try to figure out how to stop this rise in violent crime. Homicides and violent crime soared in 2019. Charlotte City Council is making it a priority in 2020 to make sure that doesn't happen again. This is our reputational um, issue now. To get a better grasp of where crime is occurring, CMPD has identified four hot spots. One is West Sugar Creek Road. It sits right off of I-85, and police say the street's 13 low-budget, cash-only motels contribute to the problem. But there is no accountability that we as a city have but, or to hold them even more accountable to um, the problems that are going on on their property. Sugar Creek is one of four areas the city says sees the most violent crime. Combined with the other three, Nations Ford and Arrowwood, Central Avenue and Sharon Amity, and Beatty's Ford and LaSalle, these hotspots make up 8% of the city's violent crime, despite representing 0.5% of the area CMPD patrols. Community activists say issues in those four areas are nothing new, but the approach the city takes has to be. What I want them to do is a public health approach led by the people here in Charlotte, backed up by people and data here in Charlotte. The city safe communities committee will be tasked with coming up with an action plan. Leaders say it will require the city working with the county, school system and community. Until we really put them all together and figure out how they work together, nothing's going to really change systematically. And I really believe that the neighborhoods are going to step up and help us make good decisions. CMPD is recommending that the city implement a violence interruption program that will help de-escalate situations and provide access to employment as well as social services. St. Louis has a program that CMPD feels the city of Charlotte could follow. Erica.